Should you quit your job and join a rock band? Zoe Keating did that, but after listening to her Ignite talk, I'm not sure that I'd want to. Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. They've ranged from building multi-person pogo sticks to hacking chocolate. Any topic that geeks hold dear. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. The talk you're about to hear was recorded live at one of the featured Ignite events around the world. Hello. So, a lot of people I talk to fantasize about leaving their day job and becoming a professional musician. So seven years ago, I actually did this. I worked for a tech company and I got one of those emails that people dream about saying, you know, uh, come on tour with a pretty well-known rock band. I'm gonna assume in this presentation that you all wanna do that and that you have some musical ability beyond Guitar Hero so that when you get that phone call, you'll be ready to go. So should you quit your job to become a professional musician? Um, there's a lot of things to consider. It's gonna be a really different lifestyle than you're used to. And um, uh, you're gonna be mostly on tour, which sounds really, really glamorous if you've never done it before. Um, <laughs> but basically the main thing about going on tour is you're getting from A to B in order to play your music for people. And you're doing it every day. So you're gonna spend your day and your life traveling. You're gonna travel, but you're not gonna see anything. If you're on a van, you're gonna drive through the parts of America that we live here in West County to avoid. And if you are doing it on a bus, you're not gonna see anything because you're gonna be driving at night. And then you have maybe two hours off during the day during which you can um, hang out by the bus. So if you need to be alone, this, this life is not for you because you're with a bunch of other people, the crew, the band. Um, you have no privacy except for a very small coffin-like bunk um, that you get to try to sleep in. Um, and uh, this is what your day is like. You're in the venue pretty much all day. You have your gig, you have your post host, sign some autographs, pack up your gear, uh, have a little bus party, and then you'll try to sleep from here to here. You'll maybe have a little bit of free time, and then um, you do it all again every day. Um, that's what it's like. Uh, I went through that really fast because the day is actually really fast. <laughs> if, you're, if you're on a van tour, however, your life is gonna be slightly hellish because you're gonna have to spend your whole day driving um, you'll have to drive, and then you'll get to the venue, blah, 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 gig, 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 post-show, post-show. Then you'll get to sleep, and then uh, when you sleep, you'll try to sleep, and then you'll get up, and you'll spend the whole day driving, and you'll do it again. And um, I wouldn't recommend this lifestyle unless you're 25. If This is what you're going to be eating. Um, <laughs> if you're on a bus, you're totally trapped. It's like you're in prison. You can only eat this backstage food, which is like hummus and tortillas tortilla chips, and maybe some green M&Ms. And then if you're in a van, you're slightly more free because you can drive somewhere, and you'll get to go to Waffle House. <laughs> and that'll be the highlight of your entire day. <laughs> so uh, that's what food is like on tour, I'm sorry. Uh, as for drinking, thankfully, we don't have much in the way of good food, but you have lots of free alcohol. You're surrounded by it all day long. And um, you'd better be able to handle that because um, it's gonna be free, and you're gonna have nothing else to do except drink, and your significant other is gonna be really unhappy if you come back a drunk diva. <laughs> so um, think about your significant other, because they're gonna be jealous enough that like, you have this amazing, fabulous life, and um, that you're also now you're an alcoholic. And as for your friends, forget it. You're never gonna see them again, because they work during the week, and you work on weekends, and you, they wanna hang out with you on the weekend, but you can't, because you're in a club, and they're gonna get pretty tired of that, and at first, your tour stories are really interesting, but then they get kinda of boring. Now, money, this is the big thing. Uh, this life is gonna make a third or a half of what you made working in tech. Um, you can maybe increase that amount of money if you tour all the time, but I would not recommend that. Um, you can make some more money by, you know, you're playing as a guest artist with bands, but you can also do session work, but that means you have to spend a lot of time in Los Angeles, and who wants to do that? <laughs> so, if you intend to, uh, you know, take on this lifestyle, I recommend that you become a songwriter, because uh, that's the only way to make money while you sleep, as far as I know. 
Um, and that way, if you're a songwriter, then you have all these other income streams that you don't necessarily have if you're a guest artist you know, with another band. You have your you know, digital sales, publishing, physical sales, and then in addition to all the stuff that you, the money you have, you, know, you make while you're on tour. Um, so I would say don't quit your tech job to become a professional musician unless you're also gonna be writing and recording your own music. So that's it. And my next presentation is, um, should you quit your job as a professional musician to become an iPhone app developer? <laughs> Thank you.